Hey beautiful collective, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're all doing fabulous. Trying to get you guys through this eclipse as positively and in one piece as what we possibly can guys. Let's pull on the empathic tarot. Collective. Hmm having to set emotional boundaries, learning from social conflict, hmm, conquering social anxieties, okay, you're picking up on other people's emotions guys, you're picking up on other people's sorrows, Someone is sitting in sorrow and you are absorbing that energy. You're picking up on someone else's energy. Their sorrow. Their mental conflicts. Their uh, social... Their social conflicts. I know it's been trying to come out in the reads and I've been trying to set strong boundaries against it. But when you're an empath, you do pick up on other people's sorrows, other people's social conflicts. And that's what's going on here. What's going on for the collective energy? Because you could be achieving success. So you're very understanding. You've been trying to look at both sides of a situation. You've been contemplating the future or looking at the future. You're feeling inspired. You've been enlightened and you are moving forward. It's like you've found your limitations. You've found, okay, you're picking up on other people's, absorbing other people's sorrow, their social conflicts, okay? Let's see what's going on. You've been very patient, very understanding. So it's about your success. Someone is in regret because it's like you're growing and you have, hang on one sec, I've got someone here. Sorry about that guys, I had to get the door. Um, collective energy, it's like you're picking up on other people's um, sorrow. You're picking up on other people's regrets. You're picking up on other people's social conflicts. That's what it's saying. You could have been absorbing that energy. This person, it really hurt you. Holy Jesus. So somebody is really angry. Someone's really freaking angry here. I don't know, this, they could be angry at your growth. They could be angry at your stability, angry that you're celebrating, angry that <sighs> this person is just being really arrogant.
the hell? Jealousy. Someone's a narcissist. Someone is a narcissist here. They truly are. It's like they're angry, they're frustrated, they're pissed off because you're growing without them, because you're finding happiness without them. You've had a lot of growth, you've had a lot of stability, and they're hurt that you're happy. They juggled you, they were greedy, held back their emotions from you. They're stalking you or watching you. You've got your balance back in your life. This is control and manipulation and judgment. And you've had to decide enough is enough. You've had to cut people out of your life. You, you've you reached your limit with this person and their, their selfishness, their arrogance, their narcissistic ways. You've had to make a decision. This is a final decision. It's like I've had enough. Enough is enough. They, uh, they. <sighs> you started absorbing what they were going through in their life. They had a lot of social problems. They had a lot of conflicts uh, going on in their life, and you were absorbing it all. This person arrogantly and selfishly. was willing to let you. You're healing. You had no choice but to set up boundaries. Look, this person crossed the line with you. They really did. Treating you as an option, cheating, lying, abandoning you, leaving you out in the cold, letting you deal with it. It's like they snuck away and left you holding the bag. Blaming you. They caused you a lot of conflict, this person. By blaming you, see, you were absorbing. You were very empathic. You were absorbing all their problems, all of their issues, all of their baggage, dealing with their personalities, dealing with the people in their life, dealing with this person. They let you absorb it all. They let you take it on. You had no choice but to draw the line. They pushed you to your limits. I'm telling you they did. They pushed you to the limit. Yeah. Their problems, their stresses, their anxiety. It's like you were understanding, you tried to understand both sides of the situation. You tried to understand, you did. You tried to understand whatever they were going through. You tried to show empathy, you tried to show compassion. And this person was running all over you, using you like a freaking doormat. They're just dump and run, dump and run dump and run their problems what they were dealing with out on the job with what they were dealing with in their family with what they were dealing with with their friend groups what they were dealing with the poor me thing coming in here they were very narcissistic it was all about them dump and run dump everything on your shoulders drop the bag and run
and you learned like you gotta control your own emotions you gotta control your own household you gotta control your own life it's like this person went out of control it's like social betrayal can you believe this Denying everything. Yeah. Trying to make you feel insecure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lies. They were hiding all their problems, hiding all their burdens. They weren't telling all their social circle all the baggage that they brought to the connection. But they sure got a lot to say about yours. But they weren't letting on about their baggage and what they brought to the relationship. You're very confident. You're very independent. And this person is reaping what they have sown. And they're sitting in sorrow. Okay, now they're sitting crying over their, you know, their... Oh, come on. Pouring their heart out to another lover. Breadcrumbing you. You son of a bitch. Sorry. <laughs> this planned person planned on working things out with you they planned on having a life with you they plan on rebuilding with you but I can tell you right now do you want the headache do, because this person is a headache they're narcissistic and you're not going to change a narcissist I don't care what anybody says the only person you can change is yourself you cannot change this person they are the who they are. They are who they say they are. They've proven themselves who they are. They've proven it. Collective, you have a choice here. You can move forward and work with someone new. You can have a patient you can be understanding. You tried to see both sides of a situation. You tried to be level-headed. You tried to be very patient. You tried to be very empathic. You were very empathic toward whatever this person was dealing with. You tried to be. But they turned it around. They made it look like you had the problems. You had the baggage. You had all this... Uh, Garbage. It's just like one thing, like I'm seeing balls. Tossing the ball, tossing the ball, leaving it in your hands. It's like you're supposed to be the fix-it, the healer of everything. You're supposed to fix all their problems. You were, They just dumped their fucking whole life on you and expected you to fix it. You to deal with it. You to solve it. That's not teamwork. That's not team. This person is a I, I, I. And there is no I in team. You either are on board or you're off board. You either get on board and get on the same page as me. Or get off my frickin' boat. Because you're gonna sink this ship. That's what they were doing. They would have sunk your ship. Literally. Metaphorically. They were draining the living life out of you. Dealing with their problems. That they created.
you reached your break point with this person. I'm sorry you did. They pushed you to your absolute limits with their funny jokes, their little mockery, you know, social little rude comments they would make to you, arrogance. This is narcissism in its finest. What then is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Do you have any social problems? Do you have these problems? This person was just turning it around on you. you there is nothing wrong with you. I'm sick of it. They pushed you to your absolute break point. And you know what's funny? They know they did. Will they ever admit to it? I wouldn't hold my breath. You've received the enlightenment. Took a lot of courage for you to walk away from this person. You were empathic, but I'm telling you, they they turned your gold. You went from like the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Swords, or the King of Cups to the King of Swords. And they envy your lifestyle, and they're envious that you have grown without them. They are. Take care, guys.